we're going to learn how to set up Jenkins slave. Okay, and we will also learn how to integrate Jenkins slave with Jenkins master as well. Okay, so what is the use case? So if you look at this diagram, let's say, you know, you have only one Jenkins instance, which is Jenkins master. Uh, you have, uh, you know, onboarded uh, many build jobs. Okay. Uh, so, you know, you may have bunch of free sale job, bunch of pipeline jobs. Okay. But having only one Jenkins instance is not good enough to handle the load. Okay. So what if uh, number of, you know, onboarded uh, jobs are keep on increasing, how you can, you know, distribute the load, right? So having a single Jenkins master is not good enough right, to handle the load. So how you can solve that problem? So you will have to, uh, you know, add more slaves. So slaves are nothing but build agents where, you know, you just going to install whatever the software you needed in order to do the build. For example, if you want to uh, distribute uh, any of the Java based uh, build jobs, right? Uh, if you want, you know, your slave to run uh, Java builds, all you have to do is install Java and Maven in it. Okay. And then you can uh, integrate that with Jenkins master. Okay. So in Jenkins master can distribute the load to that particular slave. Okay. So that is the use case. So this is my website coachdevops.com. I have documented all the steps to set up a build agent, which is nothing but slave and also how to integrate with Jenkins master as well. Okay, awesome. So let's get started. I do have Jenkins master up and running. So this is the uh, Jenkins master, which is right here. And what we are going to do is we are going to provision a new um, VM as you can see here, right? We are going to provision in this case, we are going to set up Ubuntu 18.04 as a slave. And then we are going to install Java on Maven in it. And then we are going to securely establish communication between master and slave. Uh, once we establish as such uh, communication and then we are going to register uh, the slave with the Jenkins uh, master. Okay, so that is what uh, we are going to do. So basically it's like a three step process, right? You first uh, create a, uh, you know, Ubuntu instance and then install Java on Maven. Once you install it, um, you are going to uh, set up uh, SSH keys and then you are going to upload that into slave machine. Once you do that, uh, you know, you are going to uh, register the slave node in the Jenkins UI. Okay. Awesome. So let's get started. So this is my Jenkins master and uh, we are going to uh, set up a new EC2 instance to install slave and I also have a Tomcat running as well. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to uh, set up a new Ubuntu EC2 instance. Uh, that is where we are going to install a slave on it. Okay. And we just need to open port number 22. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that launch instance. Ubuntu server. Okay. Launch instance. I'm going to choose this one 18.04. Ruby on launch. If you look at the security group, we already have port number 22. That is good enough. Launch, launch. I'm going to use my existing key, launch instance. Right? So we are in the process of setting up the slave. Let me name this as a slave instance. Let me filter. Okay, our slave is running. So we are going to connect to it because we are going to install uh, Java and Maven and other stuff in the slave instance. Okay. All right. So let me connect to it. I'm going to open up my item. Okay, since this is a new instance, let's start with the update. Okay, and uh, let's start with the Java installation as well.
okay so java is installed let's quickly check the version of it okay awesome let's go ahead and install maven as well because that is a tool we are going to use to build java projects okay awesome so maven also got installed let's verify that perfect and then let's go ahead and set up a jenkins user okay and then i'm going to create this dot ssh folder because uh, that is where you know we are going to upload our keys so let's go ahead and then do that okay and then if you look at the next command what we have to do uh, we have to create keys from jenkins master and then upload into slave okay so i'm going to connect to my jenkins master okay so let me open up another window So I'm connecting to Jenkins master. Okay. And uh, I already have keys. So I'm just going to print that key, right? If you don't have keys generated, you can create using SSH key gen command, right? But I already have a key and this is the key I'm going to copy over. So this is the public key, right? So I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to perform this command. Okay, and then this is where I'm going to copy this key. Okay, all right, then come out of it. And then once you come out of it, you know, you can quickly validate whether you are able to connect to a slave or not from the master. So let's go ahead and do this SSH Jenkins. And then I'm going to enter the IP address of slave, which is 172.31.37.26. Okay, and then say yes. Wow, you see here, I'm able to connect. You can actually verify that by typing the host name command and then you see here i am actually inside the slave right now I'm, i was able to ssh okay that's it right it means that i'm able to ssh from jenkins master into slave i'm going to exit that now i am back to my jenkins master okay so so far so good and then the next step is uh, you have to do one more command so you have to copy the host file from dot ssh into the jenkins folder okay in the master so that is good okay and now the final step is you know we have to register this slave node in the jenkins ui okay so let's go to our jenkins ui so go to manage jenkins click on manage nodes and clouds and click on new node this is where you know we have to register the slave node okay i'm going to call this as my slave Okay, let's give some name like that and then, uh, you know, choose this option and then say, okay. Okay, so this is where you have to key in the slave information. So this particular directory is nothing but where the build is going to run in the slave instance. If you, if you remember, we have actually created that uh, directory, right? You see here, we created that uh, folder, isn't it? See here, slash home slash Jenkins. Okay, so that is where the build is going to run. And then you can leave the executor as it is. If we have a dual core CPU, you can also do like two, okay? But I'm gonna leave it as one. And then label, uh, I'm going to make this as, you know, this is nothing but, you know, how do you wanna name your slave? So this is fine. And then usage, so this is fine, right? You wanna use as much as possible, so that is fine. And then how uh, master is going to connect to slave, right? So it is going to connect using SSH. So you wanna choose this option, okay? And then the host, that should be nothing but your slave ip address right so which is nothing but this one okay so go ahead and then specify that and uh, make sure you give dot okay okay once you specify that and then we'll have to add 
you know Jenkins private key here okay all right so click on add and then Jenkins we are going to choose SSH username with the private key right and the username is Jenkins right which is the lower case remember we created uh, this user in the slave all right and the description you can say Jenkins private key right private key credential okay and then I'm going to choose this option enter directly and then click on add so this is where we are going to paste the Jenkins private key so how to get the private key again uh, we are going to use this command earlier we copied the a public key right this time we are going to copy the private key so dot you know without dot perb extension and then copy the private key right so that is how you're going to copy it. make sure you know you copy only this key okay so i'm going to delete this key right after <laughs> this video okay all right so once you enter this key you see you know jenkins master is going to uh, allocate the bill to run in